So now I'm going to move on to middle and B spams. We'll start out with actually insight spams for the initial rush for B. And um, the first one that I actually come to do is the same one that I talked about the counter spam for is you just push your head up into this wall. You slide into this wall, starts to where the slant on this wall does. And then you shoot where they meet, right here at about this level. What that's going to do, you don't need to be too precise on the left, it's just a whole little radius right here, is that's the left wall of the tunnel entrance, which is like right over here. And that's the left wall and a little to the right. So you'll just catch people walking in. And normally that's good in the beginning of the round, because people walk in, they're, they're just kind of trying to maybe creep to lower B as part of their strat, and you normally catch them right here. And I actually get hit by that all the time when I forget about it, so you've you got to be careful, careful as a T a lot, and that's why the spam is so good. I'll move to another spam in the site. There's a lot of cool tricks in this site to do spamming. Um, I showed you guys a spam on a T side in my other video about how you could spam this spot. Well, a good way to, go, to counter that is to just sit over by the box on this other side, and to spam right when there's a little crevice between the box and this one, you just tap right here right about where that line is. That's a really good spam here because they can't really counter spam you too much. They don't really, not many people will know how to line that up and you're not vulnerable to tunnels. So you're just going to spam here, tapping this. And that's a really good spam for uh, just getting anybody walking in. There's a lot of general spams for walking in, so that's that. Now this is probably my most favorite spam for the bomb site. I've pulled this off actually if it lands. I think there might be a demo of it. Too bad I can't show you that, show you guys that right now. So you actually, you go right here push yourself up along this wall, and you make the space in between these two boxes the size of the timer. So this is the, I mean, this might seem absurd to line up, but this is how I always line it up. I just look up really quick until it's straightened, and once that's there, I actually shoot the lower left corner of this wall, and this is the middle of the bottom of B stairs. So this is a really good late round as well, because like I said, they, they're not, they're not, uh, they're not, they can't see you from the tunnel, sorry. And uh, you could stand in the site, and um, you, obviously, you can get spammed by that spot, but you, you know when you when you choose your timing so random, there's there's such a small percent chance they're going to be shooting this spot late round just randomly. So you come here, you just line this up really quick. You're standing here, and then you shoot the very bottom left, like right off the corner a little bit, and that's a really cool spot. And I'll show you where it hits. And this is really valuable because when you line up spots like these and you take the time to learn these, you catch people off guard who don't take into calculation that you might know these. So it'll spam right here. And it's really amazing because when people like to clear the spot, you can normally tell the time of when they'll be there. And especially if you have another teammate in B maybe sniping, and you guys are doing a two in the bomb, B bomb site setup, you have all the time in the world to be doing this because you don't need to worry about your cover. The last spam I'll show you just is on the platform, which is a very basic thing into the wall. Is this is, it's a two different spams. It's one is just right here, which is the right side of the tunnel entrance. And the other is just simply right here. Even though this is, is really close and you can kind of get spammed, it's normally good when this area is smoked off and they can't really see you. A lot of people will be waiting right around that corner. And you can actually spam all the way through this corner. So that's just something really good to do and tap while you might be waiting in and out of peaks. Not really just sitting here the whole time. You can just tap, 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 and maybe listen for when they start uh, coming in the site. And for me, I, my backup plan would be this. I am tapping, or I have to reload, they're coming in the site. Well, I'm going to counter flash, counter flash. If I hear them in, like I said, you have to conserve bullets sometimes, like 10 bullets, but if they're not rushing, you give your time self to reload, move to a better spot, and just hold. But that's really all that's for in the site spamming. I want to talk a little bit about retake spams for mid, and because uh, I think retake spams are the biggest thing on this map to know. Um, I'll show you guys a quick middle spam for catwalk. I, uh, I like to play uh, B from here sometimes and just support B in middle. Um, if I have a guy playing closet or something, and a spam you could actually do, if you're watching mid over here, you can be vulnerable to flashes, but you're late round, if you think there's only three left, they're going up cat, you can actually spam right above the door right here, and that's the corner, a popular spot for them to be waiting to wrap the catwalk or execute a strategy, so that's just, that's just a quick thing to do, uh, anytime it's mid round, but I really just want to show you guys the B retake spams. Basically, you have the commons plant spot, which is right down uh, here. This is, the, this is what I call the, we call the default plant spot because most people will plant there because it's the most universal location for terrorists to you know, see the bomb from all the different spots. So what you like to do normally is you'll come here, you'll line this box up with this, just, just straight on, and you'll just shoot right at about this uh, angle. You don't want to shoot too high. 
always, unless you heard him jump on the box maybe, but the general spam where they're ducking right there is just right here. So that's my first spam that I enjoy doing. Second one f from climbing on this mountain is sometimes if they're already in the site, you don't want to climb out this way always, but if, you're, if you jump on this box, you can actually jump over here. And a lot of times I hide in the back of the site, and a real cool spam I like to do is you push yourself up al along this slant until until you uh, start moving up, and at which point you stop, and then you aim down, shooting just past this line, this ledge, to where it goes that direction. So I'm just going to shoot right about here, all on this spot, and it actually goes to this corner of the site. It's a really odd angle, but I've gotten plenty of kills versus on the, in this spot, and it's a really good lineup to know, because that's one of those things where you can just be doing multiple things here. Oh, they're in sight? All right. I think he's in the back of the side. I heard him move there. You spam him. And it's another one of those spots where people might not know that you calculated. And that's definitely how I initially would pull it off a lot versus pro teams that didn't think I knew the spam or didn't even know that was a spam. And I would just pull that spam off and I would get a free kill. And gaining that number advantage to a spam is not only devastating to them mentally, but it's so advantageous to us because we didn't have to use any flash grenades and we just got a quick retake spam. The last spam I want to show, which is somewhat obvious to a lot of people but uh, you might not know this you just stand on these boxes you sp spray to the left and right here is just the left corner these spams may look pretty simple but clearing out spots like these with an eff accurate efficient spam and telling your teammates hey look at let's spam and we'll retake in five seconds let's get some spams off first for ten seconds you can get these spams off while you maybe have cover from a teammate down here but all these things are so valuable like i said when you get that frag so that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been uh, EG Pro Tips, sponsored by Kingston HyperX. You can check out more of these videos on www.myeg.net.